Hello everyone, welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG and welcome to another episode of Don't Escape, Four Days to Survive. Check this floor first. What am I checking for? Um, and if you guys remember in our last episode, we actually survived a biker gang. So, yeah. Oh, Kate, what are you doing? We agreed to let him live. There's no reasoning with him, her now, David. Okay, kill him, don't kill him, kill him, don't kill him. How about don't kill him? Wait, don't do it. Give me one good reason. I will help you. I- Shut up, I wasn't asking you. Um, it's a waste of a bullet. He's learned his lesson. The world ends anyway. It's a waste of a bullet. It's a waste of a bullet. We might need to defend ourselves. Hmm, I could still just smack his head with a pipe until his brain comes out. Um, the world ends anyway. The world is going to end today, so what this scum doesn't deserve when it says, Wait, what? You're for real? We've been guarding him for the entire night, taking turns, and last night of my life. Thanks, David, we should have killed him right away. Damn you, David. Uh, you're too slow. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Shut up. You're doing the right thing. You shut up, too. Everybody just shut up. Okay. That was the right thing to do. I'll ask you to say it. I doubt that he would. So it is today, is it? I've seen it this time. There is no way to survive. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, there is a lot of dialogue here, and there isn't much I can do. Ooh, a pair of gloves. So, um, so the first thing first, I think I gotta go back to that, um, that place. And I really gotta get, I feel like there's something still in that building that, Ooh! <laughs> uh, well, I got uh, this opened. So apparently, the, uh, the pins on the generator, they actually do... Um, I, I was fiddling around with it a little bit because I think there was somebody something over here and I managed to find what that was. And uh, thank God we did find something. So... So, you're welcome. Let's go through the door. Is there a floppy disk? Mem boost. I have a strange feeling like deja vu. Like it's really important for some reason. I think I should keep it that at the desk. Necessary preparation have been completed. Blah 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 blah. Expandable. The level of de uh, development leaves much to be desired. Mister has a list of employees. Okay, so I I knew there was there was something sneaky that I knew was missing, and that's what it was. It, it looks like it's a flop. It might be a floppy disk. Yeah, it's a floppy disk. Okay, it has this sad roof logo on it. We're using this bus to move their uh, people to the launch site. Too bad their driver didn't know how to drive. Looks like they abandoned it here and continue on foot. Available. Okay, let's see here. This is a key. Okay, label says laptop. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! The moon's gonna fall on our head. Use this key on this door. There we go. And here, Ooh. set of vials. Seems like there's some stuff in here that I can grab. A PC, not powered, or it's broken, or both. It's not powered, or it's broken, or both. A note. I made the calculations again. The instability ratio is too high. It can't work. We have to stop the operation. We have to stop it, or consequences consequences will be catastrophic. Okay. Um, I don't know if I mix, have to do anything in here. It's not powered or it's broken or both. So that's done. Okay, so that's not going to do anything. So we established that now. So let's go, let's go back. Okay, here we are. There it is. I'm sorry guys if it seems like I'm rushing. I just want to make sure that we have a lot without, with wasting as minimal time as we a need to. Uh, the location of the facility was confidential, but look for any bright neon lights or signposts. Yeah, but still, come on, on ground. Okay. Okay, let's go up to here. Ooh, an access panel? A fried corpse. Okay. Warning! How about. Yeah. Can we go up here for any reason? Looks like we can because of the sand. And that's shiny. A metal plate. Some screws. 
I got a screwdriver. Always keep your tools on you, folks, because you never know when you need them. I'll take the metal plate, though. What else is going on here? One of the looks burned, it says duplexer on it. Ooh. So, let's go down here. Okay. 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 Uh, it's gonna kill me if I have... Skin it! Ooh, okay. That was close. It, it was gonna fry me. Ooh, fuse box. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, figured it out. Okay, so that doormat will no longer uh, fry me. Okay. Engine with the transmission. Okay. I feel like we just gotta go downstairs then. Once we see this magical spaceship. Okay. Ooh. We'll figure out what is this. Ooh. Kate, what is that? Uh, trajectory map? What does it uh, go to the moon? We're not going to the moon, are we? You said we're going to the space station. I never said the space station wasn't on the moon. That's crazy. I knew you were crazy. You gotta be kidding. Please tell me you are. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the moon going to hit us in less than 12 hours? Why the hell would we want to go there? Um, okay. Yada yada yada. Go back and forth. Accident. Blah 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 blah. Oh, so much text, so little time. Okay, let's go over here. Remote control. Um, okay, so we got this remote. Can we do anything with it? Okay, how about this? Okay, so we got batteries. Um, always make sure to check everything. Barry, do, 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 do. I don't want to talk to anybody. Can we go in here? It's locked. Fingerprint reading. Can we go here? Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Incredible. I told you it'd be here. I'm sure you hadn't doubt me for actually I did. I apologize. I admit this looks impressive. Go to the space shuttle, but smaller and more fancy. It is promise. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, can we do anything for this? Access denied insufficient privileges. Ah, I think that's the only thing we have though. Okay. Um, maybe I have to get in here. But I need a fingerprint. Oh, maybe that fried body. Okay. Yeah, we peeled a finger. Uh, where's... Oh, that's a human finger. That really is. Okay, let's go back down. How much time we have left? Nine hours and 31 minutes. Okay. So before... I feel like this thing looks pro promising. Fuel burning catalyst formula. This ex experimental liquid greatly increases fuel's power output. Okay, so let's go in here. So I feel like these vials are supposed to do something. So let me move this because this is a chemical mixer over here. Okay, let's do this. And what do we have to remember? Fuel burning catalyst, um, three negatives, two equal signs, and four dots. Okay, so let's see. All right, I think this is it. So we needed four dots, which is one, two, three, four, two equal signs, one, two, and three negatives, one, two, three. So I don't know if we're actually gonna need it. Okay. I don't know if that, uh, maybe it worked. I think it said it did work. Oh, okay, let's leave. Um, what are we got? So, a bottle of catalyst. Great. Now we have to go back to the spaceship. Again. Oh, Cody. Office. Ooh, there we go. Let's see what we have in here. A uh, weird device. What's anything else? A weird device. Anything else? Hmm, okay. So what do we have here? A calibrator, batteries, li uh, lithium ion filtration, a metal plate. Uh, can we, okay, let's see this. There's an axe for card scan, let's try it. No, 
sufficient privileges. All right, so it looks like I can climb up this, and luckily I have gloves. I don't know what the gloves are we're going to use. Oh, I don't know why we needed gloves for that. But it seems like I couldn't touch it otherwise because it was very hurty. Okay, down a rope. We got a welding kit here. Let's go back up. Let's take that. Weights up and down. Yeah, no, well, we knew what that was. Let's go down the scaffolding again. I'm gonna doy doy. There's an access card right here. How did I miss that? Um, where is the access card? Red access card. Yes! Let's see what we have. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, whole integrity check failed. Air comp uh, composition selected. Fuel mixture missing. Fuel catalyst missing. Air supply okay. Warning dioxide is on board. Damage please perform. Okay, first of all, if this thing's open. That wouldn't work. I don't know what I just took. What did I take? A duplexer. So, let's see. Fuel mixer control. Uh, oof. We're gonna be playing this type of thing, aren't we? Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Okay. That went actually superbly better than I thought it was gonna do. So, we got that. Let's go down. What is this? A fuel catalyst console. Ooh, the catalyst. Yes! What do we got here? Uh, where? Here, see? This series looks like my worst case. We explode. Okay, so he's just gonna repeat the same thing. Okay, um. Ooh, we got the welding kit! Okay, we're gonna take this. Put that on there! Yes! 30 minutes! There we go. I don't know if we're gonna need this. And it looks like we still have to open up the thing. How do we open up the doors? Whole integrity check complete. Fuel mixture is selected. Fuel catalyst is present. Air supply okay. Warning dice is damaged. So I gotta take a look around some more. Yes. Ooh! That door went open. Yes! Okay, so that's one last thing we have to do. Um, I did see a pulley. This is probably what... Uh, this is probably what I need. So I am going to take it off. Now with the crowbar? How about the wrench? Yes. And there was a duplexer noted. So we can put this duplexer in there. Right? Because I think the regular duplexer that was in there was actually broken. So. There we go. Ooh. Okay, now that's turning. Radar screen. Ooh, a plane. This onto here. I knew, like, these simple things, you kind of forget. But we find them. We need to find them. It go down. So how does it look? Uh, you tell me. I don't know much about spaceships. I imagine it would be more hostile to it. can be confusing. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. One kilogram. Oh. Control chip. Slot label. Nav chip is empty. So we have to find a nav chip. How are we doing on here? Toolbox. Gun in the toolbox it seems to be out of power. I found a glue gun. Oh wait, uh it's told air tanks, exploding air tanks are in place, everything seems to be fine. We got another red light over here, labeled engine calibrator, but there is nothing. Ooh, wait, do I have a cal Yes I do! I got a calibrator. I know nothing about spaceships, but uh Hey Kate! Yeah. I found some spacesuits. Um uh, suits in case the shuttle fails, okay. Okay. 
So spacesuits, caliber, uh, calibrators, and installed air tanks. Fuel. We need a nav computer, and I think I got I, I got a really crazy feeling, thinking it might be in that airplane. Okay. Um. Okay, so first of all, you can enter an airplane from a lot of different positions. The windows is one of them, especially since it's rusted out Hulk. And uh, so I don't see why, but shoot, did I not bring a shovel? Oh, I did bring a shovel. Just forgot in there. Can I put that away? I don't know if I'm going to need that. Don't think I need that. This, I'll put in there. Um... Floppy disk? I feel like I'm going to need the badges. But the red badge gets me more access, so I'll keep that. Um, no. We don't want to waste too much time. So, let's take a shovel. Any minute. Uh, minus 20, minus 30. So, uh, we'll take 30 minutes. That's fine. Six hours. Six hours, six minutes. They will three, four, one. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. And we got a dead body. Just a P uh, cargo p manifest. Thanks for taking a look at that, dude. What about this? Flash for long enough. Okay, let's see. Cargo manifest. Air tanks. Wires assorted. Nuts and bolts. Sizes 10 through 15. Instant noodles. Volt meters. Gaskets. Various. And number seven. Okay, so number seven, seven, seven. Where's seven? Seven, seven, seven. Ah, seven. Right over here. Let's pop that open. We need that nav chip. I don't think we need nuts and bolts or anything else here. Okay. I'll take that. And uh, what else do we have here? Instant neuter, voltmeters, gaskets, various sizes. I feel like we probably need wires and assorted and nuts and bolts, so I'll just take that stuff for now. This is number three. Just in case. Because we still have a lot of time. Uh, was it two and three? That's five. That's two. Jesus. You never know when you need a handful of wires and nuts and bolts. Okay. Okay. So we're missing the electrical chip. There we go. All lights are green. Very good. Let's climb down. Do we have anything? That's a socket. That's a ladder. That's a s the system. That's green. That's green. Those are good. I don't see. I want to make sure we have everything good and good. Okay, let's go back up. Okay. Okay, yeah. About Barry, who are you? About today. Razor, goodbye. Okay, are you ready to launch? I made some calculations. We barely have enough fuel to get uh, to our destination. We have to limit our weight, and you seem to be carrying a lot of stuff with you. Picking things up, you never know uh, when you're going to need a water sprayer. Well, you have to say goodbye to your belongings. Take only things that weigh, say, one kilogram in total, one kilogram fine. Okay, I don't think there's much more uh, to say about that. think we got everything. So, let's go this way. We welded that. Okay, let's go to the control room. Let's check this. Okay, nope. Diagnostic screen. Okay, saddle hatch open, hole integrity ch uh, check complete, air com uh, composition selected, fuel mixture selected, fuel uh, catalyst present, air supply okay, warning diagnosis system is damaged, uh, please perform manual onboard inspection to complete the lock diagnosis. Um, uh, friend computer, do we need anything with here? Hmm. Okay, I think that is all we're gonna need, so let me go back up here, because I'm gonna dump a whole bunch of stuff. So, this is all I'm bringing. 0.5 kilograms, uh, which is an access card, a kitchen knife, a floppy disk that's labeled Memboost. I don't know how floppy disk it can be a Memboost. 
or memory boost. Uh, hot glue gun, uh, wires, and some nuts and bolts that weigh absolutely nothing. So, I think that's all we're going to do. And I think it's about time it's for our launch. Okay, let's go up. And through the door. And here we go. Ready? Yes. Just launch. Arm yourself with a kitchen knife to launch. If so, yeah, we'll arm yourself. Okay, 90, 100% missing fuel. The world was ending. The meal cracked into pieces, was moving rapidly towards the planet. Both the celestial bodies pulling each other apart. All systems screamed. Well, some systems screamed. You didn't have to check every last nut or seal like people did before launching rockets. Oh, with this, Kate looked at the uh, U with her headset on. Engine is ready, imitating, initiating launch procedures, overriding safety protocol, uh, uh, protocols, manual controls engaged. The hatch was open, leaving you a clear way towards the sky. Yes. Five, four, three, two, buckle up. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, one, zero. The acceleration force pushed you hard into your seat, squeezing all the air from your lungs. The rocket began its ascent. You looked back to see Barry in his seat, witnessing death and misery had caused his face to age decades since when he, uh, you first met him. The seat uh, next to him was empty. You didn't manage to keep the kids safe. The ship climbed through the sky while Kate uh, circled with the engine's power. Razor traveled alone, bruised and hurt. Hearing a loud roar in the sky, he turned around and gazed up. He silently watched you soar, clenching his jaw as hard as he was clenching his fist. Looking around the wasteland, he decided this place was as good as any. He sat down and waited, looking at uh, your ship, going up and the moon going down. Sarge and his men were standing on top of the hill. He traveled far west since you had last seen him. The whole squad raised their head and gazed in the sky, tracing the bright light of your rocket. Would you look at that? Smirked, Sar uh, smirked Sarge, slowly shaking his head. That kid actually did it. Good luck with whatever you find there. He handed, uh, he added before he turned away, the whole squad decided to open their last bottle of whiskey and drink it as the world around them started falling apart. Uh, the vessel was getting out to do it. At least life support seemed to work fine because the default setting had uh, been corrupt. You were forced to create the fuel mixture yourself. Yep. Uh, the composition was uh, perfect. Maximum effic efficiency meant a lot of thrust and smooth ascent. Uh, you installed a navigation chip in the ship system with its help, Kate God, with a set of numbers, angles, and coordinates, which is always better than just guessing. You installed a calibrator system board. It precisely calibrated all the engines, making them really well coordinated. Good thing you noticed the f and fixed the crack on the ship's fin. With your repairs, it proved to add almost no res air resistance. Kate managed to com compensate for slight aerodynamic changes with her piloting skills, which is important on a spaceship. You prepared a special catalyst for the fuel. It caused the main rocket to burn fuel quicker, but it also made the reaction much more powerful. Click to view the summary. You made it to the orbit. Yes. And from there, it was surprisingly a short way to the moon. Kate flew the ship towards the lunar base. That's one heck of a broken moon. <laughs> Like, really split down the middle. And here we come for the landing? Why would you need a landing strip on the moon anyway? Well, I guess to have a... a okay, that's a giant hole. Ah, well, there goes the landing gear. You know, if you landed after that giant rock, you would still probably have enough space to land. I was armed with a kitchen knife. Hey, we're all alive. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, I gotta check with everybody. Fine. Barry, are you hurt? I don't think so. Just some bruises. Try to stand up. We have to move. Okay, are you alright? That was one of my best landings. I've never uh, seen you even uh, better. Could be worse though, couldn't it? Uh, in my defense, it was my first time landing on the moon. Uh, we're losing air, David. Now is the t uh, yep suits. Give me the dang suits. There we go. Everybody in a suit. And why are we moving? Uh, well, spacesuits are actually very bulky. So 
yeah, they actually it's so bulky, uh, bulky because you gotta stay warm in them, right? That um, they actually have to use special prongs to uh, grab stuff while they're in the spacesuits. So, um, so moving around like this is really, really hard. It's like uh, open the door. Oh shoot! Oh no! Not gonna figure this out. Oh, wow, that was fast. That wasn't too bad. Okay. It, like, just remember, uh, like, the suit that you wore when you were, like, two years old, right? And that's, that's the kind of suit you need. So, what is this? We got a card reader over here. Okay, we got a card. Let's try that. Access denied. Sufficient privileges. Got that? Access denied. Okay, so let's go this way. Like those bulky snowsuits that you used to wear when you were like five years old or six years old, right? Bouncing around in one of those. <laughs> one. What are those? Kate's sleeper pods. Why are people here? You said they all left. You went to a different dimension or something. They did. This is what they left behind. Kate, you said they escaped. They did. Uh, David, check out their neural activity monitors. They are... Uh, flat because their bodies are here sleeping but their minds left this place they traveled through the realm of dreams and already woke up in safety months ago pods just sustained their empty bodies here not that it's required but if for any reason anyone wanted to get back they still can at least for now wait i've got some questions um it's bigger than i imagined really it doesn't look like that huge look around david most of the ink uh, is ink impossible with current technology hell i doubt it's even possible with whatever technology would be available for 15 years was what does it mean it means to set up plexus lakes to borrow technology from other places uh so it's some sort of hibernation yes the body does uh doesn't die while the consciousness is elsewhere uh what happens if the body dies if uh, any normal circumstances your mind would die too but cetera has discovered something i don't know what it is exactly but they have completely separated the mind from the body oh so when the moon hits earth you know the it blows it won't matter to them a realm of dreams a poetic name but quite graphic uh Sadriel, uh had dis discovered that the human mind is capable of accessing this place a vast network connecting very every Oh, okay. I, I see what they're saying. Basically, um, they're saying that they transferred their mind, right, to um, a different body. That That's what they're saying. Uh, okay, so this is going to actually... Okay. So, uh, so this is like floppy drive A. No disk. Control system lock. Okay, so I do have a floppy. Let's try this. Okay, maybe I have to go back this way. So, because there is a theory out there that ooh, there goes our uh, <laughs> I guess we're not leaving now. Um, out there that says that dude boy, um there is multiple worlds and every single little tiny decision creates a new world where it's yes or no uh, sleeper pods okay and so they're saying about trans Ooh, that earth is coming up fast uh, they're saying that they're transferring their mind to another one of their bodies right and that way they continue to keep living so, and like a, a great uh, theory of this is in a Mar uh, Marvel Cinematic Series. Check the status before. Pause active, occupied 52, controller corrupted, enable emergency mode, emergency mode. Enable side real plexus, takes no responsibility for memory loss and or personality merge. Oh no, 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 check that again. Maybe it was a glitch. Still, it says uh, phase control corrupted. It already happening. It happens, uh, Kate. You're not making any sense, Kate. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about, dude? What's a uh, phase controller? 
A uh, system designed to submit a human consciousness uh, to target a human in another world. Yes, usually otherwise brain uh, brain dead clone. They're prepared especially for this purpose or a patient in a coma. Okay, so this, yeah, th so we've seen this in um, a cinematic, uh, in the cinematic universe in Marvel. Uh, most notably, we can talk about um, Spider-Man. Right, uh, Spider-Man has mul uh, multiverse, and we can even talk about Deadpool, uh, Deadpool as well. But Spider-Man has a multiple, uh, very like they really touch upon the multiverse uh, with Spider-Man a lot, where there's a bunch of different uh, Spider-Mans, male, female, uh, mutated, and even like ones with robotic arms and stuff like that. So, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah quick this whole place is falling apart okay so we're gonna take this we're gonna throw that in here Absolutely. okay we're not prevent memory loss but it will let you carry over more memories in case of emergency okay P2. still corrupted okay okay this is good so we have three okay yeah um I inserted its disk. What disk? Computer transfer or something like that. Do you think it's gonna help? Yeah, I guess so. Even a single helper program. Never it's transferred, or at least in greater, more consistent. Um, okay. I think they should uh, ask the other if they want to go first. Um, so, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's so and most no noticeably in a sp uh, Spider Verse, you can see that um, uh, that there are multiverses, and we've seen it, it so much with uh, really Spider Man and Deadpool. Uh, I would say most notable, uh, especially since De uh, Deadpool does break the fourth wall. Sorry if it was mean to you. Uh, hey, roll right. Uh, you're a good person, K. If you don't see, see you around. Bye, big man. All right, David, so here we are at the end of the road, or is it in the beginning? I want to end it here. If it wasn't for you, you're getting emotional, aren't you? Ha, I think I spent too much time with you. Okay. Bye until we meet again. Uh, just point your gun at me when we do, okay? Can't promise that. All right, buddy. Uh, I think I can't, st uh, about I failed him. Uh, don't blame yourself, something uh, just go wrong. But then again, he shouldn't have let him fall. It should have been me. Stop saying that. Let's just hope he is in a better place now. Okay, good. Um, I really shouldn't even be carrying on a full conversation here. I think, uh, David, I know you want to say, and I don't like it. To be honest, I have no idea if anything is just, uh, just delusion. So, yeah, the whole multiverse, right? We can... Uh, we can plainly see even like in the star wars avengers movie they play upon that multiverse too and we can see dr strange physically talk about that um about checking the multiverse in the cinematic uh in the avengers movie right when uh, thanos right before uh thanos basically went uh snapped and killed everyone right so and uh he checked to see if they ever um what the oh son of a monkey's uncle he checked to, uh, so many different worlds right and that earth is coming fast oh boy uh he checked to see if they actually beat thanos at one point or another so um uh, da, 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 da. uh you take a look at the screen and realize that while sleeper pods have their independent power reserves you won't be able to initiate another uh, pod unless the main power is back there are some uh, necessary system powered such as communication array this is a standard procedure so the crew is able to call for help but there is no one that will uh, reroute the power to the station do it oh my dear Lord. okay oh we gotta get out of here the, the glass is breaking oh god oh okay that's that's not good Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> gotta get. Gotta escape. Get into the pod. So. Yeah, so. um, So it's a multiverse theory. But what they do is they. T uh, so in this game, they're just basically saying, we're taking our minds and transferring it to a new body. What happened? No. No. We reset the world? 
What happened? I need to know. I'm just waiting for the explosion. And we're back. We're back at the beginning. What the heck? What a nightmare. It all felt so real. I feel there was something more in that dream. Something sad and important. Why do I feel like this already happened? Yet something is different. I'm gonna find out what. Um, okay. Don't escape four days to survive. So, it looks like we can continue this adventure in the next episode. So, if that worked right. I'm hoping that worked right. So, yeah, so so what they did, they played on this multiverse theory where they're transferring their mind from one body to another to another body and so on and so forth. But they're um, due to the them not remembering because of the, the floppy disk, right? It looks like we have to find another floppy disk. Um, they keep doing the same thing, blowing up Earth. So this is a very interesting tale, very interesting twist. And I want to continue the series. So... Um, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for tuning in today here on Commando Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the footage. If you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you guys are thinking. You know, what do you think of this whole multiverse theory? Um, anyway, so like I always say, folks, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love and I hope to see you next time here on Command Wolf Gaming. Now, now keep, keep your, your hand, hand off that, that mouse, folks. folks. We, we have, have so much more fun and exciting content on this channel that you guys and guys are missing out on that it's not funny. funny. So, so all you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button right down below this video. Also remember to hit the bell notification button. You can't miss it. It looks like the Taco Bell bell just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Command Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and gals to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, hit the thumbs up button. If not, hit the thumbs down button. But remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section. I want to know what you think, and I want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay. But as always, folks, like, subscribe, share, and spread the love, and I hope to see you guys next time here on Command Wolf Gaming.